Yeah, it's fun being back. I mean, uh, this is a special place in my heart, and uh, you know, it's a place that I like to come visit whenever I can. And obviously, I'm not very busy right now with uh, all the happenings going on in the NFL and, and, and so forth. So it's uh, it's definitely a privilege and an honor to be back here, and uh, you know, with the uh, with the guys that are that are back tonight, it's uh, uh, brings back a lot of good memories. What goes through your mind when you walk down the halls, you see the stadium, you come down Stadium Drive and stuff like that? Oh, uh, a lot of was, you know, a lot of memories driving in, just the drive in and seeing old spots that I haven't seen in a while, and uh, you know, this is where I met my wife. So little little things like that, just you know, kind of reminiscing, thinking back on stuff like that, and uh, you know, the football side of it, just pulling into that parking lot there, and uh, you know, the first thing that came to my mind, am I going to get a, a parking ticket? <laughs> Because I got probably you know 200 of them when I was here, and uh, just little stuff like that that uh, you know you, you kind of lose track of when you, you know are doing things on a little bigger scale. Uh, it's it's cool to be back. There's a lot of fans really looking forward to meeting you guys tonight. Can you talk about interacting with the fans and and how that's it's a part of your life as a pro athlete? Well, especially here, you know, it's uh, it's fun to be back in, in this community. It's a smaller community and. Uh, it's really cool that we have a group of guys that are, you know, doing good things on the on the highest level, and uh, being able to come back here and uh, you know do something like this for the community, and uh, you know have a lot of people take part in it. It's uh, you know, like I said, it's a privilege and an honor to be back here, and uh, um, we got to stick together because you know there's there's not too many of us in NFL locker rooms, and um, when guys uh, bring up college discussions, you know it's. We're kind of we're kind of quiet usually when uh, we're talking about the Mac and um, trying to hold our own. So it's fun to be back here and you know have a group of guys like we have tonight that are uh, you know doing good things in the NFL, especially with what Greg did in the Super Bowl. And uh, you know it's it's bragging material and it's uh, it's great to be a, a part of this and uh, you know be from here and and uh, you know really not have anything given to you. You know I have to work uh, from day one. You know, work for everything um, that we have achieved and then where we've gotten. It's uh, uh, just says a lot about this program and, and the guys that they bring in here. You know, we were told not to ask about the lockout, but can you talk about how just off season is different for you and what are you doing as opposed to what you'd normally be doing to get ready for a date that you don't know right. is going to come yet? You know, I'm not doing many things different. You know, what I am doing is taking advantage of of the time that I have uh, with my kids and. And my family. Uh, this is the biggest part. Being back in Michigan uh, for the first, you know, full full off season uh, of my career. It's uh, it's been pretty special, and you know, I'm still working out, still doing the same thing. I'm just not doing the uh, you know the everyday repetition of uh, of plays and and that sort of thing at the facility. But um, you know, any guy that's that knows is uh, involved, been involved in the NFL, you know. You don't work out one day or try to make yourself better that day. Uh, you're going to get left behind in a hurry. So I can't imagine too many guys are taking advantage or taking this time for granted. Coach Schwartz, as luck would have it, was here yesterday and he spoke um, he spoke to the fact that so many of the Detroit Lions have really taken upon themselves to be together this off season and, and to really kind of be ready when you guys do get the call. Um, can you speak to that, the camaraderie on your team and? and how you have you seen that this off season? Is it a tangible thing that you can really sense? Yeah, it's pretty special. Uh, a lot of young guys, a lot of talent, um, trying to come together and you know turn something around. And uh, you know that that losing mentality is hard to shake, especially um, when it's been there for so long. But uh, Coach Schwartz, uh, you know, he's the perfect guy for the job. And uh, you know, from the top top down, uh, Martin Mayhew and Tom Milan have done. Remarkable things for the organization, and uh, you know they're bringing in talent, and hopefully we get this this stuff figured out. And uh, I'm sure we'll do some more things in the free agent market uh, with all the amount of guys that are available. And uh, you know it just goes to show you that the draft. Um, I don't think they planned on the draft going down like that, and uh, it was pretty special uh, what happened and, and the amount of talent they could get into that locker room uh, just on day one alone. Have you have you seen Nick Fairley yet? And met with those? I haven't. Uh, they actually had workouts today, player workouts, and uh, I uh, wasn't able to make it, so uh, I haven't I haven't met him. So. You have friends in this league. Is there a sense that 
the Detroit Lions are coming, and you better be ready. Yeah, it's it's funny. There's um, even hanging out with you know I have friends within the division, and uh, um, you know I got not getting too specific, but it's funny just being around like friends within the divisions, their family members, in, in front of my friends that play for a different division the team. Uh, well, I don't know. You know, the the Lions are are going to be back and, and better this year, and uh, it just goes to show. And well, like I said, the uh, the amount of work that the organization has put in from the top down to, to get this thing turned around, it's uh it's been fun to be a part of, and um, you know, just to just to be here and um, it's something I grew up watching. You know, and uh, even here on a, on a Sunday afternoon after a game at Waldo. Uh, Watching Lions football, it was it was something that was you know near and dear to me, and to be a part of that now, it's it's pretty cool. Speaking of last season, uh, are you going to bring up to, to uh, Greg that you were able to beat his team, his Super Bowl winning team? Uh, we should have had him twice. Um, we should have had him at, at Lambeau too. But uh, yeah, that game at Ford Field was what was it seven to three? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'm bragging too much about that game, but a <laughs> win's a win in the NFL, so. Uh, no, it's it's fun seeing Greg, especially being able to see him twice a year now. Uh, it'll be a cool, cool experience. So.